So this car has no injector pulse, is what I found out in my preliminary test. I'm Brian Nesson from How To Automotive. I'm gonna show you how to trace that down. Okay, so the first step I did when determining why this car is not running was I pulled a, a coil out. Was pull the coil out, put a, a, a screwdriver in the uh, inside the coil here, and had a one of my coworkers crank the car, and then you can see the the spark. It had spark and it was arcing across. So I knew it wasn't a spark so issue. The next thing I did was real quickly I popped off the vacuum hose right here and sprayed a little bit of carb carburetor. Uh, spray inside the intake and cranked it again and the car fired off and then died once the fuel ran off. So at this point I know it's a fuel problem or fuel related. So I, next step is I quickly check fuel pressure or inspect but the car still has no uh, no fuel going. So to then the I plug unplug one of the fuel injectors and plug in a noid light and have my coworker crank it and I get no pulse from the uh, injectors and so the injectors are not being commanded on by the PCM. So then I plug in my scan tool and I'm looking at live data and I'm cranking the car and I can see on the scan tool that I'm getting a, a crank signal and a cam, cam signal so the injectors should technically work. So I go back to the fuel injector and the, on these cars they have a power all the time on one wire and then the computer controls the ground to turn the injectors on and off. So I check the power lead and, uh, and I had no power at all going to the uh, in this case it's a black and red wire on, and it feeds the black and red wire feeds all six injectors and I had no power at any of the injectors. So I pull up a wiring diagram and it confirms that all the injectors are, are powered or fused so I, uh, I go looking for the fuse I find the fuse which is a 15 amp ignition fuse and the fuse test. So this indicates that there's a cut wire or um, something wrong with the harness so there's power going into the wiring harness it's just the black and red wire being uh, that's fused from the ignition box going straight to the uh, to the injectors coming out coming out of the fuse box, it, the fuse is good and the power is flowing through so I so I, my next step is I start tracing down the wiring harness so I start following the I keep I put my literally put my hands on it and kind of just move things around and look and I'm looking for something like like a rodent damage or anything like that and as I get around the harness here I notice right here right next to the AC line there happened to be a black and red wire that matched the color of the injector wires in it and there's this little rub mark and sure enough the the wire just poking out of the little plastic loom here uh, somehow rubbed the uh, the line and broke the broke the uh, broke the power lead going to the injector. So I found it here, and I, so I'm going to repair the wire and and, uh, and uh, that'll fix the car. But the if that wasn't it, I would I would literally be tearing this wiring harness apart trying to figure out where the wiring harness is broken, or I could actually just run my own power uh, wire back through you know I don't really like to do that but but I have had to make repairs like that before because it's like you know you can't get harnesses on some of these older cars or um, or it's just thousands and thousands of dollars to uh, to replace you know a wiring harness and uh, with the parts and the labor to install it so one of the points I wanted to make, I wanted to make was just using your eyes and and, and really slowing down and thoroughly looking and a lot of times the problems will just pop up they'll just pop out at you you know you you kind of look for things that out of no, that are not normal and by stick seeing that wire sticking out you know that that shined a, a red a red flag for me i was like oh that's not normal and i looked down there and sure enough it was rubbing the wire the um, ac line so i hope this helps you guys out in uh, in your diagnosis and you know how to trace a problem down i'm brian essett from how to automotive i'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos encourage you to subscribe invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this and uh thank you again